In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to assign part numbers to components. When you assign a part number to a component, you will benefit from many of SkyCAD's automated processes, such as automatically generated parts lists and bills of material, real terminal numbers associated to the appropriate symbols connection points, properly dimensioned 2D layout views, and many other features covered in other SkyCAD tutorials. Let's start with showing the parts list of this project. I'll select the project, click on the Show tab, and select Parts List. We can see I haven't assigned part numbers to some components yet, so I can demonstrate the different ways to do that. One method is to select the symbol and choose Assign from Catalog from the Home tab. Choose the part you want and click OK. Not only is the picture of the part now displayed in the preview box, but if we explore the component's properties, we can see they're properly filled which also shows in the parts list. If you don't see the part you're looking for, you may want to check if another SkyCat user has created that part already and allowed it to be shared on the online parts catalog, so you can download it. If the online catalog doesn't contain the part you're looking for, you will need to create it yourself following the Creating and Modifying Catalog Parts or Block Generator tutorials. It's also possible to select multiple symbols of the same type and assign the same part number to all those components at the same time. Another method to assign part numbers is from the parts list. Just as we did with the symbols, we can assign part numbers to components one by one or several at a time. Finally, you can assign part numbers to components from the tree view. To show the components in the tree view, select the project, go to the Show tab, and select Components. Selecting a component in the tree view will highlight its symbols on the sheet. Just as the other methods previously described, you can assign part numbers to components one by one or several at a time.